Hello, 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 party people, and welcome to this new episode of Secrets of a Witch, a podcast by me, Sabrina Scott, witchy person extraordinaire, liver of life, healer of the traumas, <laughs> tarot reader, you guys know the drill. On this podcast, I talk about magic, spirituality, life, love, and all of the different things I have learned on my healing journey, on my spiritual journey, on my personal transformation process. And that is what this podcast is about, just in case you're new. Welcome. So in this episode, I want to talk about what does it mean when a tarot card is following you around. So if y'all follow my Instagram, you'll probably know that I pull from a bunch of cards decks every morning. So there's a few different oracle decks I'll pull from. And I also pull from, depending on my mood, between three to five different tarot decks every morning. The usual lately has been like four different decks. And I do this for a few different reasons, which is maybe a topic for another episode on why I work with multiple decks often at the same time. Sometimes even with client-based work, I do this and I do it often just for my own self. But uh, I posted recently that on the same day within the span of like 10 minutes with four different decks, I pulled the same card, the ace of sorts. Sometimes it was upright, sometimes it was reversed. That matters to me a little bit less than the fact that I pulled literally the exact same card four times in 10 minutes from different decks. That is statistically wildly unlikely. And so I know since this is a witchy podcast, I probably don't have to tell you guys clearly that means something. So whatever day that was, clearly the Ace of Swords was the wisdom, the knowledge, the medicine, the whack on the head that I needed to get. And so sometimes tarot cards will follow you around. I'm sure this has probably happened to you before. In general, the other cards that are following me around lately are the Seven of Cups, the Empress, the Lovers, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Pretty amazing cards, to be honest. So I am not complaining, that is for sure. But whenever we have these cards that are kind of following us around, it's the same card, the same bunch of little cards, whatever. Oftentimes that means we have to learn that lesson. We're in a stage or a phase or a moment or a season of life where however brief or however long, and I do find when it's major arcanas that are following us around, it tends to be a longer term vibe that is creeping around. It is a sign that, okay, we need to pay attention to this. That is the energy that is in my life right now. This is what I need to rise to meet. This is the energy that I need to vibrate at. So for instance, with the Empress, I know that even on my low days, I am called to vibrate at that level of the Empress and remember that no matter what's going on in life, that is who I am. And when these cards follow us around, this can be incredibly important, especially when we match it against, okay, what are our cards for various areas of life in a particular year? So those of you who know me and follow my work and have done for a while will probably know that the way that I read year ahead spreads for tarot, for myself and for clients, is I'll often also pull cards for areas of focus. So not just month to month and not just a card for the whole year, but also cards for areas of focus in our life. So with clients, I usually just do a few with myself. I do a ton of them. So interestingly, (laughs) my sex card for the year 2023 is the seven of cups. My dating card for 2023 is the empress pretty good 
And so when these cards are following me around in my daily pulls, that is something that I pay attention to. It's like, okay, I'm on this right path. I'm on the journey that I need to be on. These cards are saying hi and reminding me of these areas of focus that I pulled on previously for this year. And so that's also something to pay attention to, right? In your daily pulls to see, okay, did these cards match up to the cards that I pulled for this year from month to month or the different areas of life or even your card of the year or whatever. But either way, whether you did that or not, these cards that follow us are here to give us lessons to remind us who we are and to remind us what we need to learn and to remind us to stay on the path, to remind us of what our journey is and where we are at in that particular journey. So tarot often does call us out. Personally, I love that. But tarot can also provide encouragement. And I think when we're followed around by some really lovely cards, as I have been lately with the Empress, the Lovers, and the Seven of Cups, it's a reminder that we are exactly where we need to be. We're learning the thing. We're on the path to keep moving. And I know it's really easy to forget, what card did I draw then? What card did I draw last week? Blah, blah, blah. And so if you are having trouble remembering, write that shit down. Because then you'll be able to look back and actually have a record of what cards are following you. My memory isn't amazing, but I know even folks who do have fantastic memory, like you can't remember literally everything. And so it is really good to write the cards down that you pull, even if it's in your notes app or whatever. So you can have a more authentic idea of your cards of the now. Because we all are going to have them at least at some point. Maybe the cards are all over the place for you lately. That's okay. But the point is to really be paying attention enough to notice these signs of the card following us around to teach us a lesson, to remind us who we are, to remind us what the lesson is. Because nothing is worse. And I'm being a little bit exaggerating, hyperbolic right now, obviously. But nothing is worse than like when the universe is trying to give you a spiritual message, trying to give you a lesson, trying to to like teach you something. And you're not paying attention enough to notice that right? So when we do the spiritual work, whether it's tarot, whether it's something else, whether it's talking to our spirits, it is so important to be paying attention enough to be making notes, to be consciously remembering so that we know when these messages are communicating loud and clear into our space. So TLDR, what does it mean when a card is following you around? It means you need to learn that thing. It means that that is a card that is a solution to a problem that you have right now. It's a card that you would do well to embody right now. Or it's a card that you would do well to attend to right now. Like if it's the eight of cups that's following you around, it's like the big thing that would come up for me is who have you not broken up with yet? You know? Is that card is very much the breakup card, leaving a situation. So when a card is following you around, ask yourself, is this card showing me who I need to be? Who I need to stop being? Something I need to do or a lesson I need to learn? Pay attention to that stuff. I can guarantee it is there somewhere. So I'll leave it there for now, my friends. Happy day, happy evening, happy afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Happy tarot reading. Let me know what cards follow you around. If you like on the Instagrams at Sabrina M. Scott, you can creep my website at sabrinamscott.com. Maybe book a tarot reading with me if you like. I do cheap three-card readings over email as well as longer sessions between one to two hours. And of course, check out my clothing store at shopsabrinamscott.com. 
And without further ado, I will see you on the next episode. Bye, everyone.